I don't perceive to believe, be better than anybody. When you come into my office, I want you to look at me as, as an equal and, and that I understand uh, who you are, um, that there's no judgment that is being made of, of towards my client. That's what's one thing they can, that I'm gonna be real, I'm not gonna lie to them. I'm not gonna promise them anything that I can't commit to. They can expect uh, honesty. talk about that yeah you know because you know it used to be where you get caught with a joint and man it's a shitload of problems man and with the shit the, the, the shit the sight and relief doesn't take away from you having to go to court it just takes away from you having to go to jail that night mm -hmm. uh you know as opposed to going to jail getting a bondsman getting booked out losing two or three days in jail depending on what your financial status is mm -hmm. you can strictly just go straight to uh, court when you get a summons, you know that an officer will write you a ticket and say, "Hey, plus, you know, it's a class B." Yeah, like it's not, it's it's not, it's nothing. Like if you catch a guy with a joint or whatever, I mean, it it shouldn't be worth jailing him for it, right? Correct. Especially if you're a young student, a yeah. young kid who's, you know, doesn't have that extra three, four hundred dollars that it's going to cost for a bond, you know, and then what it's going to cost you to uh, get your car, you know, back out of a tow truck or. You know, just I know, edit, dude. You know. I was just talking about uh, the DWI that I got uh, back uh, in, man, well, probably about 2005, something like that. And uh, I was on the radio, and I was talking with Sam Daly about it. And they pulled me over, and I was coming here on McAllen, and they pulled me over, and I, you know, I got off, and I had had like one drink, like at 10 at night, and then I had a beer at about. 1 30 and i put it on the the table and i went to dance with my wife and by the time they came back they had picked up all the beer because it was almost two sure so i had only gotten a couple of sips out of it so when we're driving out of the club i was uh going on the road and i was singing to my wife you know i was hearing a song i was singing to her so i i swerved a bit and he pulled me over and before i got off i sprayed some listerine in my mouth yeah and i got off and i was like yes sir he goes, yeah, I'm pulling you over. You were swerving. I go, yeah, I was singing to my wife, man. I'm, we're going to stop here at IHOP. We're going to eat. And he goes, oh, okay, well, uh, I need you to blow into this. So he pulled out, what do they call that little machine? At the PBT, portable uh, breath tester. Yeah, portable breath tester. He pulled that out, and he said, go ahead and blow into this. And I blew into it, and I blew a .14, okay? <laughs> and he said, okay, turn around. I'm going to arrest you for DWI. And I was like, well, aren't you going to give me the fuel sobriety test, man? I'm fine, bro. I'm, we're just, I'm, I'm telling you, I was singing to my wife. Only had, I mean, I've hardly drank tonight, you know? Sure. And it was weird because I had been sober for like two years, and I had already started drinking a little bit. All right. And, it, it, you know, now now I look back at it, and I'm thinking it was maybe God giving me a, wake, a, sign. a little sign, like, don't start, yeah. bro, again, because I ended up in rehab like nine months later for going back into drugs, you know, and all that, which was, which is what the alcohol took me to. So, um, he took me to jail, man. And when he took me to jail, I got to jail and he said, you need to blow into this machine because the other one isn't, uh, admissible. admissible. Is that what it is? That's right. It's not portable, a portable, test. a portable breath test is not admissible. Um, in a court of law, mm. so they can't. He refer also to the mentioned that it was it, it it wasn't really that accurate. Correct. So it, they needed me to do it at the sta at the station, and I correct. said, I'm not going to do it. I said, give me the field sobriety test. So he took me in a room, and the cop, you know, started giving me instructions. Sure. And the instructions, when they give them to you, they give them to you in a manner that man, you need to pay close attention. Because if not, it's very easy to mess up. Absolutely. I mean, when they start to explain how these tests are conducted, um, you're basically being uh, told, look, we're about, to, we're about to do this test on you, and how you perform on this test will determine whether or not I'm going to arrest you. Mm -hmm. And so um, as the officer is usually giving the instruction, um, I can tell a lot of my times my clients aren't paying close attention to the officer because uh, the number of steps, uh, just to begin, the, the, the way you start mm -hmm. a, 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 the test um, is all, you're already uh, being examined, you're already being evaluated for, uh, 
for a rest, mm-hmm. you know. So, so a lot of clients that that perform these tests will get to my office and say, "Well, I did well. I did great. I passed them." Well, it's not a pass or fail uh, thing that they're looking for. They're looking for clues. In other words, you know, stepping off a line is a clue. Starting too early is a clue. Not taking the yeah. appropriate number of steps is a clue. And so it's it's not mm. about a pass or fail. It's about how many clues do I observe so that I can make an affidavit to a judge to, yeah. to tell him, look, I observed all these clues and, and, and that leads me to a certain certainty of, of intoxication and therefore I'm, I'm going to make this arrest. No, but bro, bro, he, he told me, okay, you're going to start, you put your left foot here and with your right foot, you step in front of your left foot and you make sure your heel touches the toe of your left foot and then you go with your left foot over the right foot and make sure your heel touches the tip of your right foot and when you get to the end, without lifting your left heel, swivel back and proceed the same way that you you went that way. So he was telling me all that, and I did it. Right. I passed it. And so I told him, I told you, bro, I'm fine. And so they still put me in jail, man. I was in jail. And then um, I was like the celebrity catch of the night. <laughs> 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 Those jailers back before the, Facebook, back when they would yeah, post your, yeah. your, you know, your face. Yeah, you know, this was like day. 2004 or five, man, or six or something like that. But they put me in there, and then the jailers they put me in. Hey, rock, acá te ponemos en un cuarto solo, carna, no te aguites, no te metemos en el tanque con todos los locos y la chinga. We're gonna bring you a water <laughs> <pay> for <laughs> Me metieron en el, en el, and it was freezing in that little room, man. Yeah. And then I, they'd go through the speaker. Hey, Rock, assist me one time, Rock. <laughs> so, so I was a celebrity catch. That cop, I, I think he was a rookie, man, and he, he became an in- overnight sensation, you know, sure. I guess, or, or overnight name. So, well, my, you know, I got out the next day. I don't perceive to believe, be better than anybody. When you come into my office, I want you to look at me as, as an equal and, and that I understand uh, who you are, um, that there's no judgment that is being made of, of, towards my client. That's what's one thing they can, that I'm going to be real. I'm not going to lie to them. I'm not going to promise them anything that I can't commit to. They can expect uh, honesty, a lot of honesty, a, a lot of real talk. Definitely not going to promise you something I, uh, I know is un, unachievable. When a client comes into me, they're going to know they're going to get somebody who's also compassionate, patient with them, um, that understands that their needs are, are important to them. Um, and ultimately, they're my important, most important client at that time. That's the type of attorney that you're going to get.